live pictures right now from Port Canaveral. It's an exciting time over on the Space Coast. NASA just shared its plan to get back to the moon. Mm -hmm. The agency wants to launch its Artemis test flight as early as February. Fox 35's Alina Shirazi joins us live from Cape Canaveral. So Alina, are we really getting closer to going back to the moon? We are John and Luana with all the parts stacked together for the SLS. NASA says they are one step closer to getting astronauts, as you said, back on the moon. Everyone's very proud of uh, where we've gotten to and uh, where we're going. Mankind last stepped foot on the moon in 1972 with the last Apollo mission. And now, almost 50 years later, NASA is getting ready to get boots back on the moon. NASA is targeting February for the launch of their powerful space launch system, or SLS. Last Wednesday, engineers stacked the crew capsule on top of its mega launcher at Kennedy Space Center. The stacking marks the completion of a major milestone for the agency and its countdown to launch. The associate professor of space systems at Florida Tech, Dr. Don Platt, says next steps for the rocket and capsule combo include rolling out to the launch pad in late December for testing and a wet dress rehearsal in January. There's all sorts of different kinds of people that will be going to the moon now. Instead of the NASA test pilot, we're going to see women. Um, we're going to see other astronauts that were not part of the NASA program in the Apollo days. Uh, now flying to the moon as well. It's all part of the Artemis program. The rocket and capsule combo will take astronauts to the moon one day, and NASA thinks it could happen as early as 2024. As NASA decides, you know, where they're going to go with the uh, boots on the moon and when that's going to occur, um, we'll wait for those announcements. But uh, like I said, our focus right now is purely getting this first Artemis 1 mission on its way. And the mission is expected to last a couple weeks with the Orion capsule splashing down in the Pacific Ocean. For now, we're live on the Space Coast, Alina Shirazi, Fox 35 News. Selena, and we are less than a week away from the SpaceX Crew-3 launch. The launch will send four astronauts to the International Space Station, including three Americans and one member of the European Space Agency. Crew-3 is set to blast off at 2.21 a.m. Halloween morning, which is, of course, next Sunday. They will switch out with Crew 2, which will then return to Earth. We're going to bring the launch live to you right here on Fox 35 and on our Fox 35 News app.